It says here, it's a good question. Children. It says here, did Jesus say you must love your enemy according to Islam? No. No, you don't have to love your enemies. That feels better already. <laughs> but by the way, I don't know any Christian groups today that are excited to practice that, especially if they consider that terrorists are their enemies. I don't see them going out with flowers and candy. We love you, we love you, we love you. <laughs> Come on, let's be practical, okay? Do you live in a real world or a dream world? What Islam teaches us though, and this is far more important, it teaches us we cannot abuse our enemies. It teaches us in Islam, it is forbidden to torture your enemies. For instance, making them remove their clothes and parade around with a dog collar on their neck. and any other number of tortures that we may have heard about. Islam doesn't permit that. You cannot even put them down, insult them, spit on them, things like this. It was never permitted. And I'll give you the closest evidence that I can off the top of my head about this. During a war, now people in confrontation to you, in war, battling you on the spot, shooting at you, stabbing at you, trying to kill you, on the spot, would you consider that's an enemy, yes or no? Um, this is a real enemy, and you're going to be out there loving them. I'm serious. Or you're fighting them, and this is normal. You should be fighting them because they're trying to kill you. They're trying to take away your country, trying to take away your, you know, whatever. And you're in the military, you're fighting. So what are you supposed to do? Fight. If nothing else, at least run real fast. <laughs> but you don't stand there and try to start a conversation. Well, don't you think we really should love each other? <laughs> keeping that in mind, keeping, keeping that in mind, at the time of Muhammad, peace be upon him, there was a battle. And they were fighting their enemies. Their enemies were the mushrikeen, the idolaters, the pagans, who hated the fact that they were saying there was only one God. They didn't like it. They considered that perhaps Muhammad, peace be upon him, has been swayed over to the Jewish or the Christian religion. That's what they were considering, that he's talking about this one God. So they didn't like that. They were fighting them, killing them. And in one of those battles, the cousin of the Prophet Muhammad named Ali, radiallahu anhu, with his sword, was fighting against one of them, one of their enemies, and at that stage, the other one spit on him because it became obvious that Ali, I think he lost the man's sword broke or he dropped it. In any case, it became obvious he was going to be slaughtered right then and there. So he went and spit right on Ali. Now, ask yourself a fair question. What would you do in the same case? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Because he was going to kill him anyway. He had it. It was ready to go. So he spit on him and he stopped. Yes or no? Yes. And what did he say? Because the, the man asked him, where did you stop? Are you going to kill me or not? He said, had I killed you before, I would have been killing you for Allah. But if I do it now, it would be for myself. And that's not permitted in Islam. 